chapter 16. Amen, amen, amen. Acts 16, verses 25 and 27. Acts 16. It's power in that passage. Amen. It's power in that passage. Will you get us say, I made it over? y'all can, can we please like loose ourselves and get up on our feet real quick? Let's wake up tonight. I see a lot of people hungry for the word tonight. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Acts 16, verse 25. On the count of three, I want us all to read on one accord. Amen. On the count of three, King James Version. Amen. Count of three. One, two, three. Go. Yeah. 
Mm, mm, come, come on, talk, talk back to me, somebody. How can I count a joy when there's no food in my house? Come on, talk back to me, somebody. How can I count all joy when my house is in foreclosure? How can I count all joy when my children are hungry and I have no food to feed them with? Come on, tell somebody. How can I count all joy when people walk off and left me? Talk back to me. How can I count? All joy when my health is failing me. On, yes, 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 yes. How can I count it? All joy when my bills are late. Come and talk about to me, somebody. How can I count it all joy when I walk in the church instead of people helping me? They roll their eyes at me. I don't know how to count that. getting blessed before me. Something's wrong with that. How can I count on all joy when tears are constantly flowing down my face at night? Ain't none of y'all experienced that. How can I count on all joy when I see me falling instead of helping me up? Come on, somebody. How can I count on all joy? And all the while you're asking yourself these questions, ladies and gentlemen, God is saying, hold on just a little while longer. Look at your neighbor and tell him, just hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at your neighbor and tell him, hold on. Here in the text, ladies and gentlemen, it is important that we look at the situation that Apostle Paul and Silas are in. Yes, we can. It is important that we also keep in mind that Jesus has already been on the scene as he offered himself a living sacrifice for all men. Take that as a note. Jesus, before going to his rightful place in heaven, tells his disciples in Matthew 28, verses 19 through 20. This is what he says, y'all. He says, go ye therefore and teach all nations. Look at your name and tell them, all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. Come on, y'all. Of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Look at your name and tell them, the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things. You can sit down and I ain't preaching yet. Teaching them all things whatsoever I have commanded you to do. And Lord, this is what Jesus says, I am with you always. Look at your name and tell him he's with us always. Even until the end of the world. Look at your neighbor and tell him he ain't gonna never leave me. This is what my note says, ladies and gentlemen. It says, Apostle Paul, knowing his God-given assignment, does just what Jesus had instructed him to do. Come on. Apostle Paul, ladies and gentlemen, hear me clearly. Apostle Paul is no stranger to the body of Christ. Look at your neighbor and tell him he ain't no stranger. He ain't no stranger. He is, Apostle Paul is no stranger to the body of Christ. Amen. As many would say that he has much experience under his belt. Apostle Paul did in fact walk with Jesus. Yes, he did. He did ministry with Jesus. He witnessed with Jesus. He saw Jesus cast out demons. He seen how the power that Jesus possessed wasn't for show. Listen to me. But it was to prove that we can do all things through Christ. All things through Christ. All things to Christ. All things through Christ. Here in the book of Acts, ladies and gentlemen, Apostle Paul was doing ministry, yes he was, all over the region, now turn to listen to me clearly, Virgerian and Galatia, I don't know if that's right, that's how you pronounce it, I'm tongue tied bear with me, bear with me, look at your neighbor to the bear with them, and he heard of a leader and teacher who taught in the, um, in the uh, Jerusalem church, at the time, ladies and gentlemen, by the name of Silas. Look at your neighbor and tell him he saw somebody by the name of Silas. Apostle Paul, being led by the Holy Spirit, invites Silas on his journey to make disciples across the nation. While on assignment, both Apostle Paul and Silas witnessed a slave girl who was able to tell the future, just like a medium or a fortune teller. Because she was not able to be used by the devil, authorities in the Roman community began to prostitute her spiritually. That's what they did. Right. And because people perished for the lack of knowledge, this particular girl made a significant amount of money for them. Look at somebody, she made a lot of money for them. Yeah. At this time, as Apostle Paul and Silas continued to teach the gospel, the girl who was being controlled by an evil spirit began to um, began to follow them everywhere they would preach. Look at somebody and tell her she followed them. She followed them. She would cry out, these men 
are bond servants of the Most High God. Yes. yes, she did. Who are proclaiming to you the way of salvation. Look at somebody and tell them the way of salvation. Way of salvation. Yes, I'm trying to keep y'all awake until one day being used by the devil, the slave girl lied and told authority that Paul and Silas are teaching the way of salvation to the citizens in the community. Listen to me, Kelly. It is funny how um, you can do good, but evil is always present. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yes, it is. People who like to be used by the devil and people who don't like you will stretch a line that is so long, that is longer than a Mississippi River. People will falsely accuse you all because of who you represent. That's right. Yes, they will. Yeah. People will scandalize your name. They will say you think you better than everybody else. They're going to try to make others believe what they're saying about you is true. All you can do, all you can do is say, um, in the name of Jesus, they're allowing the devil to use them. Amen? Yeah. They're going to make up some crazy lie about you. Yeah. And because some people suffer for the lack of knowledge, some people are getting going to believe the unbelievers. Look at your neighbor tell them they're going to believe the unbelievers. Yeah. But all you can say in return, if God is for me, yeah. yes, Lord, yeah. who can be against me? Yeah. This one is free, y'all. Let your haters be your elevators. Yeah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Let your haters be your elevators. Come on, y'all. You have to understand that some people ain't gonna always believe what God is trying to take you. That's why you have to be able to pray and ask God to point out who's real and who's fake. Oh, yes, God. And God is being so cool and gracious. And what he does, he's going to begin to remove some people who ain't no good to you out of the picture. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and tell them, God will remove them. Will. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And the girl, this is what the Bible says, ladies and gentlemen, the girl was following and being used by the devil. Paul became so provoked that he used his mouth. Yes, he did. And commanded the devil to come out of her. And the Bible says that the, um, that the, that the demonic spirit was able to come out of her in that same hour. Look at your mind and tell them the same hour. Same hour. Look at your neighbor and tell them it doesn't take God long to do what he needs to do. If I speak it, it shall come to pass. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. When this had taken place, Apostle Paul, ladies and gentlemen, Apostle Paul and Silas was then arrested. They were then arrested, they was beaten really bad and taken in chains because the people thought that they were teaching illegal customs to the Roman community. Yes, Lord. Right. Know that, ladies and gentlemen, that when a person are in chains, it is an indication, write this down, it is an indication of lack of freedom. Yes, it is. Chains are a series of objects connected one after the other usually in the form of series of metal rings, write this down, passing through one another, used either through the various purposes, requiring a flexible tie with high tensile strength. This is chains. The Bible says in Acts chapter 16, verses 22 through 24, a mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas. And in the city, officials ordered them stripped and beaten with wooden rods. They were severely beaten and they were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So the jailer, this is what the Bible says, so the jailer put them into the inner dungeon and clamped their feet and their, it can clamp their feet in stocks. Look at your neighbor and tell them that it doesn't matter where the enemy may take you. Know that God has already got a way for you to escape. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. When you see both natural and spiritual chains being placed on people every day, chains of suicide, chains of depression, chains of oppression, chains yeah. of spiritual warfare, chains of adversity, chains of wickedness, chains of sickness, chains of neglect, chains of backstabbing, and chains of abuse. Many of us in this room have been in a place in our lives where we felt like we had shackles on our hands and feet. Many of us have felt like the pressures of the world weighing us down. However, there is a same group of people in 
the scroll that says pressure of this world was heavy, but I had to learn how to pray my way through some stuff. Yes, I did. And had to learn how to maneuver my way through some stuff and began to see God switch some things around for my good. Yes, Lord. One significant reason, ladies and gentlemen, one significant reason we see so much calamity in our society and in our families and in our neighborhoods because we forgot how to pray. Pastor, we forgot how to pray. We forgot how to pray and tarry for God. Pastor, can you demonstrate how we should pray through adversity? Just real quick. Can you just demonstrate how we can go to God and pray? Lead us in prayer, Pastor. Precious Father, we just thank you. We yes, give you Lord. praise. We give you honor. We give you glory, Father. We pray for every chain to be broken, Father. Yes, Father, we stand in the gap for those who are bound, Father, those who are sick and afflicted, God. In the name of Jesus, God, yes, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, every stronghold, every demonic force, God, in the name of Jesus, God, to, has set reign over the people, Father. But, Father, the Spirit of the Lord, God, is here to Set the captives free, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Let your people be liberated in their mind, in their emotion. Let them be free, God. Free, God. You said in your word, now there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus, claim your freedom. Get your peace back.